friends you are welcome to our youtube channel seek show the best and clearly explained tutorials are here for you today i came with a new lesson and which is about how to use microsoft office excel package to make uh, shape files using arcgis and uh, the best and clearly explained tutorials are here for you please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and hit the bell button down there to get the latest video updates okay let's move to the today's lesson right first you have to uh, open your excel file be sure to arrange your excel file in this manner suppose if you have coordinates xy coordinates the columns should be renamed like this y coordinate and x coordinate and related uh, attributes should be placed in these columns and the id number should be available right? if you can arrange your collected data field data into a shape file like this but uh, it is essential to have coordinates I mean these are point data so suppose if this is a one point point one or sample location one we have the XY coordinate of the sample location one and the related uh, attributes of the sample location number one with this ID we have coordinates and the related attributes right suppose if you collect a soil sample here from here you get the xy coordinate and you get the ph electrical conductivity or some other properties right what is essential here you need to have a xy coordinate for each and every sampling point that you collected from the field right so after preparing your data set so this is the rainfall data set and after collecting after arranging and preparing your data set in this manner in, in the excel file you can open your rgis software and add your excel file into rgis hope you know how to add data i have already connected into my data folder which is available in the desktop so i double click my excel file here this is my excel file you can see i double click and i open the sheet in the excel file and add into table of contents so you can see you can see nothing here right so first you need to right click and go to display xy data here click on it and get this x y fields uh, here i'm not using i haven't included any z field i'm going to represent a 2d uh, representative method so the x field should be uh, in the x and y field should be y you have to set these two according to your column name y field x field should be respectively to the x y field and x field and click ok you do not need to incorporate a coordinate system for now after setting these two after specifying x and y field just click ok and the table does not have object id it doesn't matter you can just ok and now you can see the data here I think this might be an error as in a single value, it doesn't matter. So, suppose these are the data, you can see the data file, but this is not a shape file yet. This is an event shape file, this is called an event shape file, a temporary file in the middle of the process. What you have to do is now just right click and you should export this event shape file to make a final uh, shape file right I'm going to save it in the test folder I will rename 
in CAS export output you can give it any name it should be a shape file and click save and ok right this is how to create a shape file and you can see the do you want to add the exported data in the map layer? just click yes and now we have the shape file now you can remove this event shape file you don't need this right so this is the final shape file with an uh, uh, single error if you want you can I will I will show how to remove this error uh, with the for uh, as a bonus tip just click here and get your editor open your editor and go to here this is your editor tool just click and get your editor tool and start editing then just select this data and you can press select and delete one right. then after that you can save edits and zoom to layer you can the finalized shape file without an error right that's a mistake from my side okay hope you learned something new and uh, this is the end of the today's lesson i will be back with the new lesson soon till then and take care goodbye